So today I'm going to show you how to boot into Windows 10 safe mode. If your computer can't boot, I'm going to show you a bit farther along how, uh, how to get into Windows 10 safe mode, even if you can't get into Windows. But it's a bit easier if you can, so I'm going to do that one first. So if you can't get into Windows, just skip a little bit ahead and I'll show you there. But if you can get into Windows, then it's extremely simple to boot into safe mode. So the first thing to do is either search system configuration right here, or just go to the start menu, go to all apps, and then scroll to the bottom, and then go to Windows Administrative Tools, and then System Configuration. And then there's a tab up here that says Boot. Um, under here, you're gonna have the option for any of the operating systems installed on your computer. So if you have multiple ones here, you'll, you'll have a list and you need to make sure that you select the one that you want. But as long as it's just one, then it'll already be highlighted. Then you just select the safe boot option right here. Uh, minimal is selected by default, but you can't access the internet in that version. So if you want to also get on the internet, then make sure you select the network option here. The uh, Active Directory Repair and Alternate Shell, that's for a bit more advanced uh, users where if you don't know what it is, then you don't really need to use it. So it really, all you need to choose from is minimal or network. So then after that, just hit OK, and it'll ask you if you want to restart right now. If you hit restart, it'll automatically just boot into safe mode. If you hit exit without restart, it'll boot into safe mode next time. So I'll just hit restart right here, and you'll see it boot up into safe mode. This, using this setting will make it so it always boots into safe mode. So basically you'll need to deselect it in safe mode, so then you'll get back into normal mode after that. So I'll show you right here how to get back into normal mode. So that's a normal error message, and you'll see we're in Windows 10 safe mode right here. So once you've run your virus scans or downloaded whatever program you needed to do or something like that in safe mode, when you want to get back into normal mode, you can just go to the start, go to all options, and go back to the system configuration, and just deselect that uh, the option that you selected before. So if you go to boot again, just deselect safe mode, hit apply, then when you restart, now it'll boot into normal mode. Now, if you are having trouble getting into your Windows installation, you'll probably see that screen, and then it'll boot to this uh, diagnosing your PC, and then it'll get to this uh, screen where it basically says that it's having problems and asks you what you want to do. So this would be the screen that you normally see, like the automatic repair if your computer's having problems, and a lot of people, that's why they want to get into safe mode, because there's a driver problem or something that's keeping your computer from booting. So you can still get into safe mode this way. It's just a few more steps that you have to go through. So once you're at this screen, just go to Advanced Options, and then Troubleshoot, and then Advanced Options again, and then Startup Settings, and then you even have to hit Restart again right here, uh, and then it'll ask you what you want to boot into. I think they just make it a bit, actually, you know what, I don't know why they make it convoluted like that. It should just be one one button press, but whatever. Um, so once you hit restart there, you'll be able to select what you want to boot into for the safe mode option. So if you hit F4, then you'll get just regular safe mode, and F5 would get safe mode with networking. So those are usually the two that you would want to use. If someone on the internet suggests you use one of the others, uh, just whatever number's next to it, you just hit that F key for it. And so I'll hit F4 right here to boot into safe mode, and you'll see it boots right into it. Now this doesn't permanently set it to boot into safe mode, so next time you restart, it'll automatically try to boot into the normal mode. So uh, just keep that in mind. But those are the uh, simple ways to boot into safe mode. If your computer doesn't even boot to the automatic repair options that you saw there, then you have a bit more trouble on your hands, and you need to actually make bootable media to get into safe mode, but probably it still won't work because if your computer won't even boot that far, it probably also won't boot into safe mode. But if you did need to, you basically just go through the same options that I showed here with the uh, startup repair options, just booting off your bootable media instead. So it's not that much harder. But like I said, it probably wouldn't be that helpful because if you're not getting to the automatic repair, you probably won't get into safe mode anyway. So uh, that's really all the steps you need.